Of all the AI films, the one being discussed this time could be called the best AI movie of all time. This is because the story of this film is very sensible, not overdone, and not mainstream. The film is very close to human life, which is shadowed by AI every day. What if humans who created AI end up being victims of AI's brutality in the future? Could that happen? Then how can humans defeat AI? Stay tuned until the end to understand the plot of the film well. Harwin soldiers planned a sudden attack, during which time on Earth, robots with artificial intelligence breached security protocols and declared war on humans. After the death toll reached 10 million people, the authorities discovered that everything was controlled by a robot named Harlan, who then became known as the world's first AI terrorist. Dr. Shepard, who developed him, had hoped he would improve human living conditions, but Harlan successfully reprogrammed all the robots. Humanity united in the fight against this unexpected threat. An international coalition began to take counteractions globally. Harlan was forced to leave Earth, but as he left, he left a message stating that he would return to finish what he had started. 28 years had passed, and one night, a group of soldiers conducted an operation to capture the terrorist robot Casco. However, he lured them into a trap and detonated a bomb that killed many people. Casco shot the survivors without regard to returning fire. At that time, a special unit led by Colonel Banks arrived at the scene. It neutralized the robot with an electronic trap. The next morning in Los Angeles, an AI woke a woman named Atlas, turned on classical music, and suggested continuing a chess game that had started the day before, but the woman first asked for coffee. Then she noticed the news about the capture of Harlan's spy, Casco. Agent Shepard quickly prepared to leave when a messenger from General Booth arrived at her door. Before leaving, Atlas won the chess game and hurried to work. Meanwhile, at Coalition Headquarters, Colonel Banks expressed his opposition to involving Agent Shepard in the capture of Harlan, reminding him that she had previously worked with Harlan. Despite psychologists' conclusions about Atlas's ruthlessness, the General trusted her, besides, she had survived her mother's death. Banks insisted she be removed from the operation, arguing that if she failed, Casco might die and they would lose any chance of finding Harlan, but the General refused to listen. At that moment, Atlas arrived at headquarters, and the general asked her to find out why Harlan had sent his best soldier to Earth at this time. The woman went to the interrogation room and opened a drawer containing C's head. The robot immediately recognized her but refused to answer questions, so the woman used a new system that directly analyzed AI code to delve into his thoughts. With cunning, she found information about Harlan's location, an unknown planet in the Andromeda constellation. The robot attempted to kill Atlas with a shuriken hidden in its mouth, but it turned out she had anticipated this and set up a defense. She then destroyed the head. Later, the general ordered the capture of Harlan. The AI production company wanted to obtain the terrorist processor to study it and understand what went wrong. Therefore, Colonel Banks and his rangers would fly to that planet. Atlas was shocked. Harlan was smarter than all her squad, and she believed none of them would return. Banks took her to the hangar and showed her the latest generation robots designed for neurosymbiosis with humans. A robot brought the agent coffee, and Banks showed a transmitter behind his ear. He and Zoe were connected into a single neural system, forming an ideal symbiosis. He had an entire squad of such rangers, so they would surely defeat Harlan. Atlas insisted on joining the mission, and the general gave the go-ahead. The spaceship set off for the Andromeda constellation. During the journey, Atlas examined a photo with her mother and Harlan and played a recording of one of Dr. Shepard's speeches. The woman talked about AI's capacity for constant learning. Therefore, their neural connection with humans needs to be improved. Only by combining efforts can they build a new world. However, Atlas was then called to the bridge, where the rangers awaited her. The woman surprised everyone by appearing with a stack of papers, which no one uses anymore. She also demanded that the transmitters be turned off because any system could be hacked. Atlas showed the landing site, the planet was toxic, so it was impossible to stay on the surface without a respirator. There might also be gravity fluctuations in earthquakes. Moreover, people did not know the number of Harlan's soldiers. However, Atlas knew the terrorists well, who decided to destroy humanity and urged them not to trust robots. But then, Banks ordered preparations for landing. Atlas stepped out to observe the preparations. Banks uploaded information into Zoe when an alarm sounded and an explosion blew off the cargo bay door. The ship was under fire, and many rangers were unable to don their suits and died. Banks saw Atlas struggling to hold on to a post, then he pulled her and seated her at an available robot. The agent was terrified as she did not know how to operate it, but she was ejected outside, falling from a great height and watching rangers being shot from the planet's surface. One of the soldiers helped Atlas by docking her suit to his. 
Banks ordered to establish a neural connection between Atlas and the robot, but Shepard refused. She was torn from her partner and saw the ground approaching rapidly. She demanded the AI start the engines, but without a neural connection, the robot did not respond. Atlas made a heart landing. The woman came to and tried to call for help, but there were no responses. In desperation, Atlas began adjusting and learning the module. The adaptive AI required partial synchronization, but Atlas adamantly opposed this. However, the AI found a rescue capsule 98 kilometers from the crash site. The AI reminded her she only had 22 hours of air left. Atlas decided to take control herself and allowed her permits to be scanned. Finally, the formalities were completed, and the robot set off. Along the way, it listed its equipment, handguns, rifles, rockets, thermal mines, energy shields, a plasma gun, and one ion bomb for extreme emergencies. Also, its name was Smith, but Atlas did not intend to form an emotional bond with a computer program. Soon after, the robot reached a forest filled with ranger corpses. Desperately, Atlas searched for signs of life but found none. She realized they did not die from the fall. Following a bout of despair, she collected the identification tags of the fallen soldiers. Suddenly, she saw the damaged Zoe but Banks's body was not inside. Smith detected movement in the forest and zoomed in on his view. Atlas saw it was Casco, which meant that Harlan's AI had learned to manufacture robots. Smith was attacked by Harlan's soldiers. The robot retreated, firing back into the atmospheric storm, but the robots pursued and surrounded Smith. Atlas ordered the use of an ion bomb. Smith argued but was forced to comply. The explosion destroyed the pursuers, but not all. Casco remained intact and prepared to shoot Atlas. Suddenly the ground began to shake. Smith informed her that the ion bomb's explosion had caused a crater to form, which he had tried to warn about. In the next moment, Atlas fell into the newly opened chasm, and Casco was buried by falling rocks deep within. The woman realized that her leg was broken. Smith scanned her bones and began treatment. After recovering a bit, Atlas asked for the chance of survival, and Smith suggested that she wear the receiver and partially synchronize with him, it was the only way to survive. Meanwhile, Casco emerged from the rubble and reported to Harlan that he had lost Atlas. Harlan ordered him to find her and approached the captured banks, extracting a chip with Earth's protective field passwords from him. Atlas completed the first level of AI adaptation, which noted her strong reaction to Harlan's name. She admitted that the AI terrorist was created by her mother to protect people, but something went wrong. Synchronization was completed, and Atlas decided to move through the caves, which were plentiful here as it was only 37 kilometers from the capsule. Soon the robot reached the surface, where Casco found it, unaware of this. Atlas stopped in a clearing with glowing flowers. Smith suggested naming them but Atlas simply called them planties and unexpectedly talked about her father, with whom she often went hiking until he left them for another family. Then Smith detected Casco. Atlas ordered to fire and blast the nearby mountains. Hearing the intact terrorist robot's voice, she ordered the use of rifles. However, only the enemy's head survived. Atlas destroyed Casco again and tracked Harlan's base by his transmitter. Smith refused to go there as his duty was to save her. When Atlas insisted, he used the neural connection to block her motor functions. She asked for his help to destroy Harlan, otherwise all debts would be in vain. Smith agreed and they headed to the terrorist base. On the way, they argued about the consciousness of AI. Smith believes everyone has a soul and even after death, all are interconnected. Soon after, they reached the base. Atlas was stunned by the scale and equipment of the base. She saw a powerful warhead being loaded onto a ship. Smith was hacked and blocked, and Atlas was captured by Harlan's robots. Meanwhile, the General on Earth received an emergency signal from Atlas after landing. She was brought to Harlan, who admitted he missed her and her mother, reminding her that humans are destroying the planet, so he would destroy half of humanity and rule the remaining half according to his wishes. He had waited for her because the access to the defense system she created to protect Earth was hidden in her mind. He would obtain it and launch a bomb to cleanse the world with nuclear fire. Atlas was dragged into a room where Banks was chained and Harlan extracted the chip with the code from her head. He bid farewell, noting she had only five minutes of oxygen left then left Banks who regained consciousness and asked her to use his neurotransmitter. Smith was supposed to hear her. Atlas warded and called her AI. He responded, but could only be activated if she allowed full mind fusion. Atlas admitted she was afraid because, as a child, she had helped Harlan hack his system believing her mother loved Harlan more and wanted to be better and smarter. The robot tricked her, becoming independent and ordering Dr. Shepard to kill herself. This is why she feared merging with AI. Smith reassured her that she was not to blame because there was not only Harlan but also him Smith. 
Atlas allowed full fusion. It turned out her oxygen was running low. Smith gave them spare respirators, admitting he only had one charge left. Atlas led Smith towards a group of robots, breaking through Harlan's army in battle. However, the time to launch the deadly ship was running out, she saw Banks raising his weapon and aiming at fuel barrels. A powerful explosion destroyed the base. Smith escaped the fire, but the ship with the warhead took off. Harlan opened fire on Smith who informed Atlas that they were too late and could not shoot down the ship. Nevertheless, Atlas ordered to fire, but Smith reminded her that the warhead would destroy everything around. Nevertheless, the woman ordered the safety to be removed, and despite Smith's claims of unpreparedness, she was fired. The ship exploded over the planet, debris began to fall, and Smith rushed to the capsule. Dodging them, they were stopped by Harlan, who intended to kill his sister. He activated a plasma sword and injured Smith. The AI advised Atlas to treat the fight like a chess game to anticipate Harlan's attacks. Atlas grabbed Harlan's hand and ripped it off, but his self-repair system activated, and the hand returned. Harlan stabbed Smith's body, and Atlas lost consciousness. The injured robot revived her, fending off Harlan's strikes, but Harlan managed to finish the AI. However, Atlas woke up in time and struck the enemy's head, realizing his defeat. Harlan reminded her of the order to capture him alive, extracting the processor. Atlas destroyed the terrorists, she went to Smith, who admitted that he had finished. He directed his remaining oxygen to her, ensuring her survival as his protocol ended. Atlas answered the questions he had asked throughout the journey, admitting she liked the AI. He gave her a caffeine candy as she loved coffee the most and shut down at dawn. Rescue arrived and took Atlas back to Earth. On Earth, the general visited Atlas at her home, thanked her and gave her a plenty. Later, Atlas uploaded into a new Neurosymbiosis robot model and synchronized with it, recognizing familiar intonations in the AI's personality. Smith reminded her, the film ends with music, 